Hello, welcome back to my channel. Well, have you ever had one of those days where you just don't know what to cook? Um, and it's coming to the end of the week and you've got a few bits left in your fridge. So you sort of try and put them together and make something out of them. So I've got one eggplant here, aubergine, partly done. Uh, some peppers, uh, red, green, uh, chilli, carrots, potatoes, onions and some spring onion uh, leaves. So not quite sure what I'm going to do yet, but we shall um, find out as we go along. Well, here we are. I have peeled and chopped. Um, go ahead and grate these two potatoes um, on the uh, thin side, like so. And then what I will do is, uh, once I fry it all and grate my potatoes, we shall put it all together and make veggie burgers. So let's see how we get on. So in a frying pan, a little bit of olive oil, and then I shall just go ahead and put all my um, vegetables in together. Just go ahead and put all our vegetables. So I've got onions, carrots, mixed peppers and aubergine, eggplant. So we shall put the whole lot in our frying pan and we shall just stir fry it with olive oil. Every so, so often, just give it um, a mix. We don't want to be um, frying them to be ground up, we just want them to be softened up. That's coming along nicely. Um, our vegetables are all nice and softened up. I'm quite happy with this now. I shall now take it off the stove, turn it off and take it off and let it um, cool down and I shall go and grate my potatoes in the meanwhile. So we're just going to take that off the heat and let it um, cool down. So I have um, taken our vegetables out of the frying pan so it just um, helps it um, cool down a lot quicker. I've got it in a sieve so it's just getting on nice and sieved out with all that oil. I've grated my potatoes on the uh, fine uh, side and now I need to squeeze the juice out of all that um, potatoes as well. Okay, so once you've um, drained most of that um, water out of your potatoes, you don't have to squeeze it too hard, that's fine. We're now going to go ahead and add this into our bowl. Get rid of this now, and then with our vegetables as well, we go ahead and put our vegetables into it as well. Uh, I shall use that oil to um, fry my burgers in it. So, I'm gonna add our vegetables as well. Now, if, if I had um, parsley, I would have um, added parsley at this stage, but I haven't. I shall go ahead and just add the spring onions, but I'm going to retain some of it to put in the salad. So I'll just put some spring onions into it. Then I've got two eggs here, so I shall add two eggs into it. We go ahead and add in our seasoning, whatever flavouring you want to add into your burgers. So I've got salt, black pepper, and I'm just going to add um, chilli flakes, but obviously it's your burger, go ahead and flavour it 
with whatever you like, bit of curry powder, bit of um, uh, cumin, or whatever you like. And now what we need to do is go ahead and mix all this together. Oh, I shall use my hands to do that. But it will need to have some flour. Now you can either, if you don't have eggs, you could add uh, milk into it. And you could add uh, breadcrumbs into this. So if you've got any, um, you know, uh, bread lying around, you can just add some bread into it. Just give it a mix and then I shall get rid of my spoon and I will add in um, a bit of flour and mix it up with the flour until it all comes together. So just go ahead and just add flour as, as it needs to. Okay. So continue adding our flour until it all comes together that you will be able to handle and shape into burgers. So I'm afraid I haven't got the exact ingredients. It's, um, I've been making it up as I go along. That's all there is to it. And you shall just continue mixing it all until it comes together that you will be able to hold in your hand and shape it as a burger. And then you can either cook it in a, um, you know, dry fryer or in the oven or in a frying pan. Uh, it's entirely up to you. Okay. What you'd need to do is get a bowl of water. Okay. Just dip your hands in it. And then shape your burgers to the size that you want. And then place it on a on a plate or straight into a deep fat. So I'm just gonna make a couple and put them on a plate. So dip your um, hand in water or you could, like I said, get um, spoons. So you can either do it with a spoon. So dip your spoons into the water. And then what you do is you just um, shape them using the spoon. So you can use a larger spoon if you want it or you can use uh, make them at that sort of size and then just drop them into your deep um, pan or into a baking tray and just cook them that way. I shall go ahead and use my hands. So wet my hands and then just take the size that I want, flatten it and then place it onto a plate. Okay, wet your hands. And there's your burgers. And just Once you've made all your burgers, then go ahead and fry them. Um, if you were going to use the uh, dry fryer to fry them in, what I would suggest you do is dip them into um, flour on either side first of all and then place it into the dry fryer. But I shall go ahead and fry mine in a pan. Okay, I'm going ahead and using the same frying pan that I've used and I'm also going to uh, pour in some of that oil that we drained from our vegetables. You can add... Um, olive oil as you need to but at the moment I'm going to use this okay so by wetting your hands and then um, handling your burger you're able to reshape it and you'll be able to handle it so we shall now continue cooking our burgers
or not, I didn't have to use any more oil up, which is great. And they're all cooking nicely. So the nice um, salad next to it, that'll be perfect. Well, that's the last of my burgers being cooked. I didn't have to use any more oil. I've got quite a bit out of it and they are absolutely lovely. With a bit of salad, perfect. Eat them hot or cold. So here we are. Uh, we started off not knowing what we were going to make and we ended up making these delicious um, vegetable kuftas. Uh, ideal to eat hot or cold, pet lunches, picnics, perfect um bit of salad next to it and there you have it and i think if you have a um, bit of a coleslaw or a bit of hummus it would be absolutely delicious it's a nice bit of salad and then you've got your kuftas Perfect. I've already tasted it, but just to show you. If you wet your hands and then handle your kufta, it comes out no problem. You could have made one big one or you could make some small ones. Bit salad with it. And there you have it. Delicious, honestly. I hope you give it a go, guys. Thank you for watching. Mm. Lovely.